Hey guys, how's everybody today? Check this out. Former NFL players file a lawsuit against the NFL alleging illegal use of painkillers by the league. See, these guys um, have such a physical job that their bodies are breaking down. Just like everybody else with a physical job. Everyone that I know of that has a uh, job that's pretty much a physical, labor-intensive somewhat job has pain issues. And most people, if it's not serious enough, take care of it by, you know, drinking a couple of beers after work or whatever, or, you know, a 12-pack or a 6-pack or you know, whatever they feel they might need. And uh, I, I've worked construction crews, hired a bunches, bunches of guys. And uh, half of them were taking painkillers because of their pain. Or half of them was hitting the beer on the way home from work, you know. Um, so this is a very interesting thing to me, and I mean, we ought not be working ourselves to be in such conditions to where we've got to self-medicate or have to turn to other things. And that's another reason I feel they should go ahead and uh, get rid of the get rid of the whole. Dagum Control Substance Act. That's my position, and it's been my position the whole time. Get rid of it. Let it come back in the pharmacies, but you don't have to go through a dock and all that kind of crap. I'm talking about everything. I mean, literally everything that is a Schedule One, Two, or Three drug, narcotic, whatever. Um opiate, you know, whatever, because that would, one, that would totally wipe out the drug trade. Drug trade would be gone. Illegal immigration problems from cartels in Mexico, that disappears. Gone. No more problems there. I mean, legalize marijuana, get rid of the frickin' Controlled Substance Act. They need to let these people, let us have a quality of life. Because if this is going on here, my gosh. And this ain't the only thing, guys. Check this out. They've found that it's actually uh, like doping. Because they're all on painkillers of some kind. But before the games, um, the coaches have been you know, giving everybody an extra Lord Tab or an extra Oxycontin or whatever. Here, take two instead of one this time, you know, and have a freaking good game. Kick butt. Well, they uh coming down on them now for doing that. In the NFL, they're saying it's like doping them. And, um, and it is because of the help that a narcotic or something like that can give you is an immense help especially if you've got a physically um, taxing thing you've got to do if you've got to be physical for uh, several hours and be at a maximum then you you need some painkillers because they definitely enhance your ability to work faster better you can concentrate better. I mean, as long as you're not abusing it, it, it helps tremendously. Um, I mean, I know for a fact I have to take pain medication for... Uh, I have a, a digestive disease and Crohn's, Crohn's colitis 
Um, and you know what? If it wasn't for painkillers, um, I, I wouldn't have much of a quality of life because of the amount of pain that I'm dealing with. Uh, because of all the, you know, things that is involved with my particular disease. I mean, I know firsthand uh, how it is, is what I'm saying. As pain medication and sports a form of legal doping. I mean, this is all, it's all coming out. It's all coming out. So, you know, they need to go ahead, get rid of this freaking Control, Control Substance Act and legalized drugs and like I say you've got the cartel gone you've got uh, crime disappears overnight gone because um, let me tell you the way it was during uh, the prohibition it's still going on with the with the drug thing and the amount that it increased and got better when they went ahead and said okay well, you can drink again that will be it'll be twice that it'll be that much better things will get I'm telling you the the, the problems will disappear they need to legalize marijuana and all this other stuff make it like you know um, I'd say probably control it through a state run or county run facility and uh, give them what they need that way you'd have people that aren't getting stuff that's killing them too it's another thing I mean people are going to do what they're going to do right absolutely every time they're going to do what they feel they need to do whether they feel they need to get on methamphetamines to lose a few pounds wouldn't it be so much easier to be able to go up and get some of them diet pills that you got to go to a, a friggin a diet person to get a little bit of speed um, to help you with your you know food cravings and have more energy so you can lose that weight every weight thing um, lose weight fast clinic every one of them is speed methamphetamine dealers I mean you know not dealers but you know what I mean I mean they need to knock this crap off and and let's legalize the stuff and control it not you know to extent that you gotta go and then it's pharmacist discretion whether they help you out or not. Now people are having to turn to the streets and the uh, heroin use has doubled since they've made the big crackdown on oxycodone and oxycontin and stuff. Well, what's the big deal? The freaking NFL guys, they're, they're taking painkillers you know now I know there's people that get out there and abuse them and stuff like that and that's unfortunate for the ones that need it it's really unfortunate for the ones that need it because it hurts them but that should not penalize others that need it and that it helps their quality of life I mean it, it, it can do a lot of good I mean, you need what you need. I'm sorry, and everybody's different. Um, what might work for one does not work for another. Some people can take a, a Vicodin or something like that and uh, just about be loopy and, and, and all that. Others can take a Vicodin and be like, uh, well, I'm, I feel a little bit itchy, you know, my skin's itching, and there's, that's about it. Hadn't even helped their pain much. 
And I've also come to find out that the Tylenol, uh, it, it seems to me that Tylenol only worked for so long. If you had to take Tylenol every day, if you're trying to take Tylenol to control a chronic injury or chronic pain condition where you're having to take it every day, stop taking that Tylenol because it's not working anymore. Or for me, it doesn't. The only thing it does work on is with a headache. It does work on a headache and, and uh, fever reduction. So, well, and I guess, you know, a little bit sore muscles and stuff like that. It does help a little bit, I guess. But not like they, not like they claim it to do. And all this ibuprofen and stuff. There's so many people that I've ran into and talked to that have ended up in the hospital because they was taking so much aspirin and Tylenol and ibuprofen and all this crap trying to deal with their pain trying to deal with you know not hurting so friggin bad so I mean this is an issue that's we need to be real about you know we need to be real about this thing they need to get real on this thing but I just found it interesting that uh, these guys are throwing down the flag on this because it is it's it's doping them I mean the amount of pain they're in and the regular meds they take if you want to enhance everything and get back to where you're like almost 20 again or 22 yeah, you better take some narcotics or something because uh, <laughs> that's the only way it's going to do it especially in a physically labor intensive job and situation and these guys can't drink and get out there they can't freaking pound back a few beers and get out there and play football <laughs> that just don't work they don't do good it does not enhance their playing but it's interesting to me that the narcotics enhances their playing. And they're uh, actually crying foul because the teams that are taking the, and doing this, they're kicking ass. I mean, what a trip, huh? Now, I will say that if you don't need to take pain medicine, don't take it. Because it can become habit forming, and if if it becomes an addiction, it it can suck. You, I mean, you know, you could get into some serious problems and get dependent on it to where, you know, you'd be sick if you run out of it for a couple of days. You feel like you got the flu or something, and that you know that sucks. But, uh, yeah, it's very interesting to me. Anyways, I thought I would share that with you guys and uh, wish everybody a good day. Hey, never give up your guns. Uh, it's, uh, you know, too bad the media didn't cover the event this past weekend because they're never going to cover it guys even if we get a you know whole probably a million people they probably wouldn't cover it still they're it's totally controlled it's totally shut down Ustream was out there a little bit um, controlling it but and nobody else or I mean not controlling it but had it out there but America's not seeing that this congressman were gone already they didn't see anything. So, and th there wasn't as many people showed up as there should have been either. Anyway, I hope everyone's well today. And hey, God bless and good luck to us all. Never give up your guns.
The Second Amendment protects the first and the last. We would have no defense to keep our freedom if we lose that Second Amendment right. This Chetty Dad won over and out.